today I'm going to teach you how to crow hook. I have um, a handmade crow hook in front of me. Let's see. It's got two ends. So that's one end and I'm trying to pick up the other end. There's your other end. Alright, so on the one to your left, you do a slip knot. Let's see if we can have my hands be in the right spot for this. Ah, up here. Okay, slip knot. And put your hook in there. Okay. And chain. For an afghan, it would be 165, but today let's just do 10. One, two, three, four. Need more yarn. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Okay, now you go to the horizontal bar to the left of you, go in, yarn over, and out, and repeat that across, in, over, out, 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 in, over, out out, in, over, out, in, over, out. All right, I don't think that's one, but let's count. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Well, no, there isn't any more. Okay, so now we're ready to turn our hook. Once you have one color on the hook, you take off with the opposite color. My other color is called ocean. So you just slip it over the end, hold it, and take off two. Then just hold one end over, take off two. Yarn over, take off two. Yarn over, take off two over, take off two, over, take off two, on across until you're down to just one loop on the hook. Okay, now this is your tricky part. You have to go back into the same loop, so make it big. Go into the horizontal bar. You are passing one vertical bar and going into the next horizontal bar to your left. Yarn over, Bring it out, but leave it on the hook. Now, before you cross this vertical, you have to go in this horizontal. So you're making up for the two that you took off at the other end. You're adding two on this end. So it's yarn over, then pull it out, leave it on the hook. You've got three. You've only crossed one horizontal bar. Now this is a vertical bar. You've crossed one, and you've got three on already. Now you're ready to cross the vertical, go in your horizontal bar, yarn over, pull up and out, and you've got four on. You um, cross your vertical, go into the horizontal, over and out, and you do that across. in, over, out, in, over, out. Now I'm out of the blue. I don't want to go into any of the purple. Let's see if we've got ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, now we would turn, take off with the opposite color. So if you have blue on the hook, you take off with purple. Yarn over, Take off two, and you do that on across. 
whoops, it's one of each color. That time I got too many. So, yarn over, take off two. 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 You get down to one on the hook. You go into the same loop. You've crossed one vertical bar. Yarn over, pull through, leave it on the hook. Now, don't cross your vertical yet. You have to go into the horizontal bar over and out. You have three on the hook. Now you're ready to cross your vertical bar of the other color. You yarn over and pull up and out. You've got four on. So keep going in the horizontal bar to your left. You go in, over, out, all the way across. Okay, we have run out of purple, and these are blue. We don't want to go into any of those. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Looks good. Now, we have to turn the hook. And push your work to the opposite end. And then it's um, yarn over. Take off two. Across. Yarn over. Take off two. At this point it's one of each color. Yarn over. Take off two. Okay, so if this were the last row of your afghan, you would get over here and say that this was, you know, your full 165 across. It would uh, be a lap gan. It would go across your body when you're um, in a chair. You want it to come over your feet and then up and over your shoulders. That might be four or five skeins of each of the red heart um, yarn. So at this point, you would just go over and then out and cut it off. And that would be your finished afghan. You could put fringe on each end or you could um, single crochet a couple of rows on each end. But basically that's how you make your crow hooked afghan. Thanks a lot.